Welcome back to Trauma Team F. 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 Alright, F. Last time on Trauma Team, shit went down. People were dying, Maria couldn't handle it. And then we met an actual cooperative patient. It was fascinating. I mean, it was I loved fascinating, it. and he had very nice abs. He did. It was like Channing Tatum. It was fantastic. This time, continue the story of CRSO One, Nolan North. Nolan North. Doctor Nathan Drake. Dude, I would believe it. Mr. North. Dr. North. CRS-01. We need your help. You're being transferred. Transferred? Why? But I've only been back for like a month. An epidemic's broken out. All Portland is being isolated. Just in case, we're moving everyone well, from the facility as well. Good. Oh, Portland's... is our facility in Portland? Here, read these. I hear it's a pretty dangerous disease. My memory is coming back. Huh. Oh, 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 nine, Rose. That's a good boy. This time it should. It was right. Tell me more about this disease. I ain't gonna tell you shit. I'm done. What's wrong? Like I was changing it. Nathan Drake, man. Just. It's not a bruise. Call an ambulance. This place is infected too. D don't move. It's very what are you well doing? Gun. If you don't get an ambulance. Don't move! What did... What did you do to him? No, no. No, calm down. I haven't done anything. Listen to me. It's the same disease infecting Portland. Do you understand? Cancel the transfer, or it will only spread. Sh shut up! Just shut up and put your hands on the wall! <sighs> Damn it. You can hear Nathan Drake's voice in it, too. <laughs> Escapee! SO one's escaping! Your own damn fault, dumbass. Yeah, I mean You should have just let me go. You should have just fucking listened. You really should have. I'll just sneak into this conveniently a placed hospital. I look like a doctor. It's okay, everyone. I am a doctor. Doctor Nathan Drake. Reporting <laughs> for duty. How many of these people are infected? <sighs> I'm a doctor. I'm just gonna. Somewhere All of here. them. Fantastic. You three, head to the ward. I'll watch over the entrance. He's smart. He knew I'd go to a hospital. Sounds like he knows Damn. that I'm a doctor. <coughs> Hang on. I'm gonna get you help. <sighs> Someone's gonna help? That's weird. Damn it. I 
out of the way. FBI coming through. Release the hostage and leave. Don't make me shoot you. You have to He's know by now that the quarantine's failed. Why do you have to do this? Get out of the way. I want to treat this patient. You're a fugitive. I can't authorize that operation. Then shoot me. I'm not abandoning this person to die. This is what you taught me to be. Good man. Just left pointing the gun at a random uh, patient. No, <laughs> that random person just like, I didn't do anything. Dude, leave me alone. Hey, what are you doing Jerome? over there? Get the transfusion. Ow. Knock, knock. Hello. Hey, don't come in here without. Uh, what are you doing here? I'm glad you're here, Maria. I need I'm abandoned bad. equipment. <laughs> glad what? you're here. What's Conveniently. He's exhibiting asterixis. It's most likely his liver. The treatment room is full. You'll have to train him on the bed. I can do it. Maria, I'll need you to support me. I actually don't need your help, Maria, but, you know, whatever. I apparently need an assistant. It's a thing. Hey, explain your... I know about this disease. You do? The disease that's the cause of the quarantine? There's no time to talk about it. Beginning the incision... Yeah, why are we talking about it? Scout. All right, opening the operation. That is a tumor? I don't know. I don't remember everything. Yet. What? You just said you remember. Not everything. I do remember some specific facts. There's a certain procedure required to remove the focus, cut off its nutrients, and inject it with sodium hypochlorite. Sodium hypochlorite? Yes, it's poisonous. It must be directly injected in the focus. Damn. That's what we have to do, huh? Thank you. Now, first we need to drain the mucus. Ready to drain. To have its nutrients, we need a vasoconstrictor. I've got it here. It's the medicine in the blue vial. The sodium hypochlorite's the deactivator, right? I've got it here in the orange vial. Be careful with it. All right, now we just have to excise it. Here's a scalp. The focus has been excised. Yep. Great. That's one focus extracted. I need the vaso. I need the vasoconstrictor now. Are you ready? Injecting the drug. Get ready. Injecting the drug. Get ready. Now to excise the focus. Get the scalpel ready. Now to excise the focus. Get the scalpel ready. Okay, now to extract it. I'm ready. Okay, now to extract it. We're cutting skills and that means better. Wait, there's something there. What is this? Something's moving inside the blood vessel. What now? Stay calm. We'll open up the vessel and extract it. We'll have to find it first. Get the location key. I need the drug. All right, we've removed that. No, this tissue isn't human. I need to make the incision move. The drain is ready. Drain it along with the drug Fifth port. <sighs> so there were more. No problem. We know what to do to extract them all. What the? I need the vessel. I need the vessel. I need the vessel. I need the vessel. ready. I think we need the vaso. Get ready. Really sure. Injecting the drug. Get ready. Now to excise the focus. Get the scalpel ready. Now to hey, the vital suddenly plummeted. Something's going on. Oh, it's when they reach it. Okay. Yeah, we'll extract all the focus. Oh, we can save this. I need the vaso. Yes, use the laser. Are you ready? Injecting the drug. Get ready. Now to excise the focus. Get the scalpel ready. Shit. It's the hand. It's... Hey, what's wrong? Oh. Continuing the operation. Got it. Oh.
Jesus, not alive, Maria. What's going on? Shaky hands. Sorry. She'll make it. Let's clear out the remaining objects and end this. Get out of the goddamn way. Sweet. Got him. Closing the paint. Hey, you don't look too good. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah! Doctor. So we, oh, wait. Nah. I am a doctor. What's <laughs> well, a good thing, you know, we fell on Maria pretty much. Is there a doctor in the hospital? Look at that. Look at that. 11 cools. Zero good, zero bad. That's a rank ass if I had seen. If we didn't get an S, he would be very close. Come on. Come on. Man, he's got nerves of steel. He got all the way through the operation in this day. Of course, he is a doctor. I am a doctor. He's reading that book again. It's so horrible. Fifty Shades of Grey. I know, why would he read that? He can't be my son. He can't be my son to read that smut. He looked at me. I keep thinking he'll kill us one day. Boy, that's morbid. You monster. Leave us alone. Y'all are mean. Dude, Fifty Shades of Grey is okay, okay? You know, it's not that bad your mommy and daddy are in heaven now i'm your family i Maybe. killed them with my book my name is gregor From i killed vaman you're my precious <laughs> son now come along i killed them with 50 shades of gray it's very that book you're reading i killed them with it ah you've come congratulations on your acceptance i don't know what you're saying to me we are teacher and student now I won't go easy on you, son. Everything is nothingness. You too hey. one day. Hey! Jerk face. You can see where I got the brooding from. Wait! Wait! wait. Professor Sock! Are you alright? Hey! I remember now. I remember everything. Remember? Good. Now's the time. Hey, what are you guys doing? FBI, we're tracking a fugitive. Let us through. No fugitive here. Move You're along. in the way. Move! Oh, crap. Hey, over here. <laughs> that was great. Hurry! What is that with people making escapes in cars? Then you aren't the one who caused that incident. I think we went through this before. Yes. No? My memory is true. The culprit is Albert Sarge. But why? I don't know. But he was distressed about his research. Research? Why? Yes. He was doing research into protecting viruses. And eh? those are... They're viruses that attack other harmful viruses in the body. Okay. The one he was researching was too aggressive. Oh. 
It would attack any organism but itself indiscriminately. That's a problem. Kind of deadly. Mm. Wow. And if it stopped attacking normal human cells? Yes. Every disease known to mankind could be eliminated. At least, that's what the professor must have thought. So, you know, what happened to it then? Didn't stop attacking human cells. I don't know. But he disappeared after that bio-attack. And now there's a similar virus threatening America. I can't help but think that these are related. Damn Germans. Great. So I guess the quarantine was the right move. Uh... Yes, but it's too late now. Guard died at the Sorry. prison. The virus is already outside the reaches of the quarantine. This is bad. Hey, Atlas. Nice. What should we do? Should we tell no, them? Shut up. Think they'd break the news without having a solution? The government won't do anything because they know all this. Then what are we supposed to do? Sit and watch it spread? Yes. Calm down. I have a lead. We need to find his daughter. Okay. Whose daughter? The professor's? Yes, Professor Sars adopted a girl when I was 14. The virus was cultivated from her blood. What? <laughs> I can't guarantee everything will be explained, but... My reaction is the same as we can find her, it's possible we can end this. Uh, then, where is she? Is she? I don't know. All I know is her name. You're not helpful Her at name all. is Rosalia. Rosalia <laughs> Rossellini. Rosalia? Oh, hey, it's Ghost Girl. You're driving. Open your eyes. Little Rose? Don't tell me. Didn't you die? Maria, what are you doing? Shut up. Just come with me. No. I'm a doctor. We're busy. Save the world and stuff. Nonsense. Road trip. But I gotta save the world. Not today. <laughs> 